Good morning from Chicago, the risk management capital of the world. This is your morning market stir for Thursday, April 18th. Well, stocks and a lot of other assets yesterday tested their weekly lows, pushed lower yesterday. The S&P was down 22 points, 1.4% at 1547. New weekly lows were made at 1538, but it did come back off of that bottom. The Dow futures were down 128 at 145.57, and NASDAQ futures were down 1.8%, 2777 down 51. Apple put a lot of pressure on the NASDAQ as it went down to $400 a share. The euro currency has sold off as well, down 142 yesterday, held support at 130. 130.32 was the closing price as the dollar index really rallied yesterday. Uh, it was at 82.65, up 82 points. That's a big reversal off after the new relative lows actually since February that were made on Tuesday at 81.80. So a big close higher yesterday in the dollar index. The bond market was also higher, up 13 ticks at 148. Crude oil with that dollar strength sold off as well, down $2 at 87. And gold was down 13 yesterday. Gold's trading in within a range between 1395 and 1365 yesterday, so we'll look to see which side it wants to break out with those relative lows here at 1320 from Monday. So after the asset sell-off yesterday, where did the market stand on this Thursday morning to start a new trading day? Well, the E-mean S&P is a little bit higher right now. We're up five points at 1551. Dow futures are up 47 at 14,600, and the Nasdaq's up nine at 2783. The euro currency has bounced a little here, 130.65 up 45 points, as the dollar index is drifting lower, 82.51 down 11. The bond market's a little lower, down six ticks at 147.25, and the yield for the 30-year treasury is at 2.88%. Crude oil's bounced a little here at $88 a barrel, up $1. Again, crude's trading between 86 and 90 for the week, looking to decide where it wants to go from here. The gold markets had a little bit of a gain, up $11 at 1394. Again, tr the yesterday's high, 1395 to 1365 was the range that we'll want to keep an eye on. So to wrap up the current action for this Thursday morning, we've got the E-mini S&P up five and the Dow futures up 47 with about two hours to go before the stock market opening. I will see you early Friday for the stir in the markets to set up your trading day. Here at the CME Group, it all comes back to commodities.